How's it going, everybody? My name's Sugar Cat. It is quarter to three in the morning. I am currently at work. As I usually do late at night, I'm perusing Twitter and Instagram and Reddit and all those places. And I have a few people talking to me about certain things and they're asking me some questions and my opinion on certain subjects. So here's one of them. And I know a lot of you are probably like, Sugar Cat, this isn't a live stream. What is this nonsense? Well, Mug Doc's working today anyways. I was gonna do a live stream of some sort, but I figured that this this is kind of fun also, because this is kind of touching on an important subject as well. And if you notice, I kind of rock back and forth when I'm doing these. So I had someone in my chat yesterday in the live stream ask me what my opinion was on the Gillette controversy. Now, if you don't know what the Gillette controversy is, Gillette, you know, the company, the shavy face company, put out a commercial about how men in society should change for the better and teach their kids how to be better people and how to raise them to treat women properly and how not to be a complete asshole in society it's it's generally a, a good commercial a little bit um a little bit ice cream spoon fed for my tasting but it, it gets the right message across i get what they were going for in today's society you want to be known as the company who doesn't hire and employ a bunch of dicks. So I get it. Problem that I have is a lot of people voicing their opinion on how Gillette should mind their own business and stay out of, I don't know, man society, whatever that is. Coming from someone who was raised in a house where you weren't really supposed to show many emotions, or at least it's how I felt at the time growing up. I wasn't really allowed to cry over things, even though I did, I was a giant baby growing up. But you had to be tough, you had to be folded in upon yourselves, emotions were a weakness. And I'm, I'm not really sure where it stems from. I, do, I don't know why people are so vocal about this, is that what I'm trying to say? Like maybe you guys can kind of help me out here on why people are so passionate about about something that is clearly conveying a good message am i just confused am i, am I getting it wrong is is it um like maybe they're upset that it's being too pushy or that it's too soft but i mean the commercial portrays um like kids and stuff playing and one of the kids goes over and like shoves a kid down and the parent goes over and talks to him and explains to him that he's like that's not how we treat people um, you have to treat people with respect and be kind and gentle to them. And people are all up in arms with, don't tell me how to raise my kids. My kids can go beat up other kids if they want to. And to me, it just sounds like insanity. Coming from a dad myself, that's definitely how I'll raise my child. I mean, you have to be careful because you don't want them to be raised to be a pushover either. You don't want people to take advantage of them because we, we do live in a society that is cruel and merciless and they will be picked on. So you kind of got to be careful in that aspect. But you you want to raise them to be strong, to, to handle situations in the right way. You, you don't want to raise them to be a bully or how to belittle others or make fun of them. I mean, I grew up dealing with bullies all my life, pretty much from grade one right till the end of high school was just a bully fiesta because I was different, I was weird, I was, I didn't fit in with anybody. I, I wasn't, I wasn't a goth, I wasn't a jock, I wasn't a super nerd. I was definitely nerdy, but I kind of fit somewhere, somewhere like in the void on the outside. I was, I was an outcast. And at the time that didn't give me a lot of friends because everybody had their little cliques in high school and I didn't. So really all I did was just skip classes and go to the library and read. Yeah, I know, we such a party animal. I mean, if, if it's such a, a hard thing to raise your kids to treat people right, I, I don't understand at all. I guess this is more of a plea to you guys for me to kind of help me understand what's happening here. Like, especially when it comes to, like there were things in the, in the video about um, like women's rights and stuff, about how men should treat women growing up like how boys grow older and when they start dating girls or boys or whoever they want to date treat them with respect don't put them down don't treat them any less than yourself they're an equal when, when you get in a relationship with someone you're not in control you're not the leader of the relationship you're both in this together and you're a team but i, I was literally on reddit tonight and i saw a comment that was literally like like 
why would I hold a door for a woman? She should be making sandwiches for me or something. Am I going insane? Maybe I was just raised better, but I come from a belief for myself and for this channel as a whole that is literally, don't be a dick. Just rule number two is see rule number one. Respect others be kind to others, respect their religious beliefs, respect their sexual orientation, respect their race, their gender, respect everything about a person. Because we're all in this together in this crazy blue ball flying through space. Life is way too short to worry about nonsense like that. What you should be worrying about is what you're going to eat for supper tomorrow night and whether you wake up in the morning healthy. That's about it. I mean, look at me, I have pink hair. I'm the pinnacle of masculine looking. So I just figured that was a good place to um, tell you guys about my opinion on this. Because people want to sometimes know where I stand on some things because they want to know what kind of person I am and whether I'm worth following, I guess. So that is my opinion on this. I figured I'd just let you guys know and maybe you guys can fill me in on why people are the way they are sometimes. So I will leave this video here for now. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a live stream tomorrow. I'll let you guys know in the Discord. For now, I'm gonna get back to doing what I do. Keep being awesome, guys, and I'll see all of you in the next video.